this is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Trudy Adams and Miss Annie. And we're getting ready for Annie's first dressage show next weekend, this coming weekend. So uh, we're out here getting, we're in the warm up. And the first thing Trudy asked me was to help her with the clarity of her transitions that she'll need for the test. And so this is perfect to share with everybody. All right, so we're talking about the transitions. First, let's isolate what you'll be doing with your riding position, all right? Okay, so you want to think every transition is really a signal for her, you know, a half halt, an opportunity to use a half halt. So you're going to breathe in. Remember the feeling of breathing in. Feel it come up in your belly. Lift up the front of your chest. Let it go down the back so your shoulder blades come together. And then feel like your core comes forward just a little bit as you go down into your knees and your lower leg. So the half halt might take you three seconds. So it's breathe in, feel it go all the way down. There, good, good. That's it. So now before she walks, you're going to do the same thing. Now it's okay, you felt she walked out of your, out of your tree. It doesn't matter right now because you're in the warm up. So slow everything down, relax. Have her wait for you, just take your time. Yeah. She should be all over the place. Trudy just said she's all over the place. Again, Trudy's been on her less than a minute. And we're already asking Annie to stay connected by having Trudy isolate her half halt. Okay, prepare for a half halt without halting. Half halt just to feel her pick up her back under you because that's the purpose of the half halt is that they rebalance, right? So half halt until you praise her. Good, good. And then let her walk forward, keeping her contained. Now you'll notice when you walk forward, your tendency is she just kind of falls forward. Yep. That's because you're letting your rein go that tenth of an inch too long. So keep her shoulders up with your rein. You're going to ask her to step up from your leg. Half, yep. Half, slow down the steps, slower, slower, until you feel her lifting her shoulder. Right there. Good. Now make sure it's coming down through your lower leg when you're doing your half halt because we're extending your half halt to maybe six or seven steps right now just so you can isolate it, right? Okay, use your half halt position. You should feel it going all the way down your lower leg as you breathe in. Lift up your chest. Lift up your chest without leaning back. That's right, shoulders should stay right above your seat. Take your time and feel when she picks you up under her seat. Can you feel it under your seat? Good, praise her and then let her go forward by walking with your pelvis. So with the half halt, you hold your pelvis still and ask them to pick up their seat, pick up your seat underneath of the saddle. So we're just gonna play with that feeling of the half halt for you first and then we'll add the steps to connection. Good, let's do a half halt, get her to round up where she picks you up under her saddle, add more leg. Add more leg, slow down the front end, get the back end of catch up, praise her until you feel her pick you up under your seat. Watch your seat. Is. I mean, she's gonna stop it, it's all right, it's all right. Good, good. She said she's gonna stop otherwise. That's it. Good, good. There, she's starting to carry you different. Feel it right. now. Again, all we're doing right now is focusing on your riding position. That's all. All right, okay. all right. So, right here, you feel she's starting to disconnect. So, what do you do? Half hop more active with her back feet. More active, keep your hands level. Yep, it's just for your, that's it, that's it. You feel her picking you up different? Yep. Good, so all you're doing is you're asking her to step up into your rain connection, into the contact from your seat and legs. One thing at a walk and another coming from canter down to trot. It is, but we're breaking up the basics. All right, so now we're gonna add her to the equation, all right? Even more. So now when you do your half halt, you're gonna make sure that she stays soft on her jaw. So do a half halt, check that she's soft on both sides of her jaw by suppling with the rein softly. It might be two steps, whichever you need to do so that you don't go into the seesaw thing. Good, good, take your time. Check she's soft in the jaw. Is she soft in her pole? All right, that's all right, that's all right. Okay, get her active again. Get her to step up into a soft jaw. Soften her jaw, steps to connection. Soften her pole so her neck is loose. It's all right, she's warming up. We don't care, we, you wanted to isolate this stuff, so that's all we're doing in her warm up. We've never done this in the warm up before, right? Good, keep her more connected. Check, is she soft to the rain when you touch her jaw? If she sneezing. Well, you know, she's lifting her belly up and eating dust, so she's allowed to sneeze. Good, good. Check that her pole is soft. 
add more leg when remember whenever you use your leg use the rain use your leg on the same side for this good good that's it praise her she's trying to figure it out praise her good good soften her jaw and make sure she's lifting her back up with your half halt good now you'll notice she's starting to think differently this is because your your question was how to improve your transitions right good change directions Half halt, get her seat back under you, get her back up underneath of you, get more active with your leg. More active, especially your inside leg. That's it, get her more active, praise her. Shorten the length of your reins so they're right above the withers. Good, doesn't matter what she's doing right now. Again, we've never warmed her up by going right into the half halt and the steps of connection. So she's like, whoa, <laughs> you can feel it, can't you? Good. That's it. Soften her jaw. Tell me what you're going to do. Half halt. Then soften her jaw. You can do the two-step connection if you want. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Oh, good. Connect her two steps on one side, then two steps on the other side. Good. Praise her. Because she's really trying. You can see she's adjusting her balance for you. Yeah? Praise her. Good. Make sure your half halt is coming all the way down your lower leg. What happens as you're working on the steps to connection is your lower leg starts getting loose and that's simply because you're riding more with your rein than your leg, which happens to everybody. That's right. So get her really active with your leg. If she's leaning on a rein, you need to get her more active from your leg so she steps into that connection. Good. Good. That's it. Okay, let's do some walk halt transitions. Prepare for the walk by bringing her shoulder in a little bit. Soften her jaw. Soften her pole. Keep her soft on the outside rein. Praise her. Good. Is that a little bit too curved in the neck, though? She asked if you were a little too curved in the neck. It was the first transition you did, so we're not worried about it. What I did notice is she threw her haunches to the outside, though. Yeah. So that's where you're not using enough outside rein to keep her straight and leg. Good. Take your time. Oh, good. You kept her under you. Could be more supple in the rein when she walks off. You can feel she raised her head just a little bit. Use your outside rein to bring her nose up. Start preparing for your halt by signaling her with your outside rein and leg. Half halt. Half halt. Oh, good. See how she's standing under you? Watch her on the outside now. Watch her on the outside. That's right. She didn't throw her haunches out that time. and I, well, That's all right. It's only the second time we've done it, and we're doing this in the warm-up, which we've never done with her before. Good. That's right. So there you take a little more time to get her to soften before you walk off. You could feel it was a little bit if you were saying, if she's saying yes, no, or maybe, she was saying maybe, right? Yeah. Okay, so now when you do your halt, make sure she's saying yes to your steps to connection. Check her. Is she saying yes, no, or maybe? Ask her to say yes. Good. Just keep her neck straighter. Good. Did you feel her step under you? That was good. Step now, that's right. That was very good. Now take your time walking off. Is she saying yes, no, or maybe? Take your time. Slower. One rein, one rein, not two. Yep. You just supple one side of the mouth, then the other. Good. Praise her. And keep asking yourself, is she saying yes, no, or maybe to your steps to connection? And there's nothing wrong with anything she does. You're just becoming aware. If she's saying maybe, that's when you need to ask her for a little bit more connection. Right. I tend to bowl habits go to two reins, and it's not the right thing. That's right. And that's what, you know, that back 10 years ago, everybody was using that, right? We all learned how... We all learned how to seesaw. It's a hard habit to break. But now you're starting to do something different and you've been working on it, so it's much better than what it was. But this is good because like I said, so many people are doing this. Take your time. Now you plan when you're gonna do it, good. That's right, yes, no, or maybe. Yes, at the end she threw her nose out. She threw her nose out a little bit, so that made it a maybe. Because it wasn't really a no, was it? No. Is she saying yes, no, or maybe? That's right. So you have to be clear with your hands. Ask her to stretch her nose a little bit down and forward. 
So you think your whole goal is she's got to say yes by softening her jaw, steps to connection, softening her jaw, softening her pole, releasing her neck, and picking up her back underneath of you. More activity from behind. Take your time. Slow, slow. Oh, good. That was very thoughtful. Take your time. And at first, she's going to be tentative because she's not sure what you're doing. Good. Still wants to throw her head up. Which is fine. She should be. Okay, take her for a walk break. Let's give her a little mind break. What did you feel when we isolated what you were doing with the half halt? What did you have to do? I just had to put it all together. You can't just go slamming into halt. That's right. Do it slowly. And you felt it was a concentrated thought, wasn't she's it? Leaving. She's leaving. <laughs> That's right. And then. Then we went into the steps of connection and what we added this time again, we focused on if she's really saying yes, no, or maybe. Now, how did that change what you were doing with your transition to the walk halt? Well, I just tried to go a little bit slower. Yes. Transition, yes. Not every time was it perfect at all. Well, when you can get your transitions perfect, let us know because the rest of us haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Good. Just give her a little walk break and we'll start with the trot walk.